It's time for today's Lucky Land horoscope with Victoria Cash. Life's gotten mundane, so shake up the daily routine and be adventurous with a trip to Lucky Land. You know what they say. Your chance to win starts with a spin. So go to LuckyLandSlots.com to play over 100 social casino-style games for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Get lucky today at LuckyLandSlots.com. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void or prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. I need new music. This is the JJO Discover New Music Podcast. How are you, my friend? I couldn't be better. Good. I was hoping so. I was hoping so. Uh, Well, let's get right into it because this is very exciting. Exciting for listeners. Exciting, I know, for you and this next kind of journey in your musical career. And, I mean, we'll touch on this because it's no secret. You were uh, formerly with Five Finger Death Punch. You left the band in 2020. Now here we are. Fast forward four years later and a whole lot of craziness in between in the world. Uh, your new band that you handpicked has officially dropped their new album. And I just want to know, is there maybe with this album a sense of finality? Not in the future with your new band, but maybe in kind of where you were and all the work that you put in from 2020 and everything that went on. Maybe some kind of like, ah, here we are. This is what I was working for. Oh, God, yeah. The, you know, the record was finished in January of 2023. And uh, and then if you back up from there, I started working on this record in 2020. So, yes, of course, there's an ex, uh, extreme amount of relief that we're on to phase two. Right, right. Were you just waiting for that right time and, and, that, and that final spot where you're like, yes, this is the time for Flat Black to do this? Well, what I've learned is that in the music business, timing is critical. And when, you know, we sort of did the album on our own. I was, I co-produced the record. We did a lot of it here at my home studio. Um, But when the record was finished, the next thing you want to do is go find your team. And for me, I I, I got very fortunate and met um, met a manager, an A-lister guy who said, I love this. I want this. Where's your head at? I said, you're, I love you. Let's just roll. <laughs> um, from, and he's the president of a company called Shelter Group, which has, you know, Fleetwood Mac and ZZ Top. And so anyway, so from there, he's like, okay, well, let, I'm going to put together a, a link and we're going to shop your record and, and go get a deal. And that, so that, that takes time. You know, I'm yeah. flying around, meeting people, having dinners, shaking hands, uh, entertaining. What label do we want? There was a few offers. And, and so we had to, to sort of like develop a feel, which, which place feels right. I'm sure I'm speaking for a lot of people out there. We're excited to see this next step with Jason Hook and, and what you have lined up for us. And people seem to be really eating this up. I do want to know, going back now to 2020, and you starting this next chapter for you, did it take long to find your creative voice? Because, you know, you spent a lot of time with the previous band and 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 doing other stuff, writing a certain way, producing a certain way, touring a certain way. Did it take a bit for you to find yourself or did you know, like, all right, I got it. This is what I've been wanting to do creatively. I've been doing this a long time. And I think that this is just sort of a natural extension of, you know, in the prior situation, we worked very hard. There were no breaks. Everything was back to back. And that was deliberate. Like we were very serious about where we wanted to take that. Mm-hmm. And it requires a lot of hard work. So when, you know, it wasn't in that and I'm starting something new, it really just has to do with a lot of hard work, wake up early and do it every day. And eventually you'll get there. So um, I didn't have to really change my style or think about how to do something different. I think the best thing I can tell you about flat black is it's authentically me, you know, and and that's all I've ever done. Right. And um, the only difference is that I don't have to, I don't really don't have to have um, any sort of partners all sort of agree on the same thing. I would bring, I I can do whatever I want. Like if in the, in the prior situation, I would bring in a bunch of material and some of it would be rejected. And and I would be like, wow, that's strange. I would have thought that would have been the perfect fit. But that's the dynamic of a team, of a partnership, right? And and in this band, 
Um, I don't really have to get like a committee majority vote or anything. I can just say this is a, I like all 12 songs. <laughs> you can use all of them. <laughs> love it. I love it. When you have a kind of unlimited space, can you be uh, obviously more creative, but also more critical on yourself? How, how's that mind space work for you? I, I would say the latter of the two. I am definitely hyper critical. I, I, I have a problem with, um, pickiness to a point where I know I drive everyone crazy because I can't settle. Like to me, I only hear music one way. It's either right or wrong. And when it's wrong to me, I can't let it go. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I, maybe I'm tortured by that, but, but I do get results. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's Mutt Lang is kind of the same way. He'll spend however long it takes for it to be right for him. And, you know, and, and some people go, I can't dissect that. I don't understand that why but he, who cares it's you know that's what i that's how i work yeah. so yes for this flat for flat black um 10 times more critical because look i'm trying to re-enter the atmosphere off the heels of something that was goliath mm -hmm. in in success so i don't have the luxury to half-ass it or just like rush it yeah yeah. Well, and I, I I don't think any of us assumed you would. And now here we are with Dark Side of the Brain from Flat Black. Uh, what you have been working towards all this time, being able to, you know, to take this own path, edge out this old path, really find Jason Hook as an artist that you've had before. But I think we're just all excited because we're all familiar with you. We all know and love you. And it, it's so cool to see this next step. Listen, rate, share, subscribe. Discover new music now at WJJO.com, in the JJO app, or wherever you get your podcasts. Rock has a new interview every Thursday evening between 6 and 7. Nutty for one JJO. It is Ryan Seacrest here. There was a recent social media trend which consisted of flying on a plane with no music, no movies, no entertainment. But a better trend would be going to ChumbaCasino.com. It's like having a mini social casino in your pocket. Chumba Casino has over 100 online casino-style games, all absolutely free. It's the most fun you can have online and on a plane. So grab your free welcome bonus now at ChumbaCasino.com. Sponsored by Chumba Casino. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. I need new music. This is the JJO Discover New Music Podcast. On the album, I do want to talk about something that I know got a lot of people excited. I saw it and listened to it and got excited. You feature uh, the one and only Corey Taylor. Uh, one of the thickest necks in the rock world. The guy's got a tree trunk on his on his shoulders. Uh, how'd you guys get hooked up? I'm sure you've known each other professionally, friends for a long time, but how'd you guys get hooked up to make that track happen? Which, by the way, is nothing to some, is the track I'm referring to, yeah. Well, uh, Corey and I started a dialogue in 2020. I didn't know him that well, but I was working with his producer, Jay Rustin, in mm -hmm. Los Angeles. Jay's a friend. I just went there to kick around some music for fun. And all of a sudden, Corey and I have a dialogue going back and forth. And uh, and he says, what do you what's your plan? Mm -hmm. I said, well, my plan is I, I don't have anyone right now. It's just me. Mm -hmm. And I'm starting to build music. And I and the, the long term plan is to put a band together. But I, I just have I don't have anyone to work with. I'm just me. So he said, well, listen, why don't you send me everything you have? And if you need my help, I'll help you finish your songs. Nice. Which is awesome. <laughs> right <laughs> right <laughs> so uh you know i've i've said this ten thousand times and i'm sure he's tired of hearing it but i am forever grateful because he really came to he really turned out to be a friend at a point in time where i could i really could have used a friend you know and not just a friend but a musical you know it lifted my spirits because he yeah. comes in and goes like let's all bang these out for you. And then you have fit some finished stuff. You know, can you imagine the excitement? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I have a tremendous amount of respect for the guy as an artist. I love what he does. We did five songs together. Awesome. And awesome. I just, you know, when it came down to uh, the final 11th hour, I said, I got to ask him if he would want to, I think the idea was that my singer was going to sing the songs that he wrote, mm -hmm. but I really wanted to see if he would be willing to donate a, his vocal to, the, a song on the record and yeah. so i i picked the gnarliest song of, of the batch <laughs> and uh 
and he uh, he agreed to to be a, a, the only guest on the record. I love it. I love yeah. it. Well, uh, and for your only guest, you knocked it out of the park, and uh, that's <laughs> awesome that uh, <laughs> that he got to be a part of that. And also, like you said, in that journey that you've taken uh, from the start of all this and where we're at now with Flat Black. Well, that's awesome. Is there a track that maybe really speaks to you, resonates with you off this record, maybe more than the other ones? It's tough. We wrote thirty something songs, and so wow. essentially, what you're what you what you get is the fourteen that were my favorite. Mm-hmm. So it's tough. Um, but if I had to pick, I think the opening track, It's Okay to Be Angry, I think that's one of the most uh, interesting and creative songs. It can, I was reading a self-help book, and that literally was a chapter, like chapter four, It's Okay to Be Angry, and it breaks it down. So I thought, oh, I'm going to use that. I think people are in for a real treat. I know you guys are busy now at this point, especially with everything officially being out. What's kind of the uh, the next step for Flat Black? I mean, obviously enjoying this, basking in the glow of a new record, but uh, what do you got in the pike? Because it doesn't seem like you guys are slowing down at all. What's what's left now is just to tour and not stop. We have to, <laughs> you know, I think awareness is the next hurdle, the awareness, right? Any Anyone that's heard the record seems to have this sort of weird addiction to it, but I just don't think enough people are aware. So I get people hitting me up saying, can you put me on the guest list for Death Punch? And I, you know, I haven't been there in four years. So <laughs> there's obviously a bit of an awareness problem. So touring and press. Love it. I love it. I'm sure that's uh, the lower end of the stuff you are enjoying doing, but the touring on there, uh, at least the press part anyways, we're really excited for you guys. Again, Flat Black, Dark Side of the Brain, out now. Plenty more to come from Jason and his crew. Uh, last question with this before we get to rapid fire, and I don't want to go all Masterpiece Theater, James Lipton on you, but what do you hope the band takes away from this record? And what do you hope the fans, the ever-growing addicted fans of Flat Black take from this record? To me, music is just supposed to deliver an emotion, a feeling, really. It's the same reason why they put music in films, because it's supposed to create a bed track that sets the emotion for that scene. Yeah. So to me, if they feel something from it, that's all I'm looking for. I do. So we all, you know, I, it worked for me. So in a perfect world, you'd hope that it works for the listener. And so far, I think people are picking up on the different feelings that come from the from the songs. You know, well, I love it, man. Again, dark side of the brain. Very excited for you, brother. The only thing I think we got to do now is get Rex some more tattoos. He just <laughs> sticks, he sticks out like a sore thumb in that band. We got to get him covered up, man. He just he looks like a baby in there. He does. Yeah. I'll give you his number and you can have it, have that talk with him. Does he have any at this point or not? No, he doesn't. Oh my gosh. Oh, but the rest, God. the rest of us are like head to toe. So <laughs> he's like, so if I get a, like a little, uh, you know, I got a little something, it's really like the, now tattoos are so overdone that the only yeah. you know, you, to get, you have to sort of almost book off six months and get the whole thing Both just just do it at once that's right so all right well we'll work on that so he fits in with the rest of the band obviously musically he's he's top notch but we got to get him inked up man we got to get him inked up all right uh, again dark side of the brain flat black uh out now let's do now that the important stuff's out of the way let's do rapid fire and uh, we'll get you on your way no okay. wrong answers uh you just go with your gut you go with your gut uh let's start off simple mashed potatoes or baked potato baked potato all right. Disco or techno? I'll go disco. Disco. All right. All right. I can Fun. see you see you in some bell bottoms, you know, polyester shirt. I think we could do that. Well, I was made for loving you, right? Uh, hey, Kiss wrote a disco song. We can take that. We'll take that. Uh, soaked jeans or damp socks? These are weird questions. Uh, it's I'll, what I do. It's what I I'll do. Go, uh, I'll go soaked jeans. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no good answer for it. Here's the thing. I, you're probably used to that, that, uh, Vegas heat though, at this point, oh, yeah. which is just disgusting. What is it out there? Right. It's probably cooled off a little bit, right? It's cooled off a little bit, but only a month ago was up above 110. Are you one of the Vegas residents that say, well, it's a dry heat, so it's okay. Is that, <laughs> well, truth be told, dry heat doesn't, you know, the humidity is an extra level of discomfort. Right. Right. Oh man. Uh, all right. Would you rather see Bigfoot or the Loch Ness monster? Ooh, Loch Ness. Now, whenever someone, I ask this question for one reason, one reason only. Do you know the theory behind the Loch Ness monster? Now, have you heard? Mm-mm. So, scientists, some scientists believe that the Loch Ness, the famous photo, is actually just a whale penis. So, apparently, 
when whales, certain whales breach the water, they'll let. And so I always do this example so you can kind of see. And it looks so if you imagine a pervy whale just coming up and it it just now that's what they think it might be. Oh, is that so? I'll have to look that up. You're right. <laughs> I just, exactly. I'm not saying I'm, I know the science behind it, but it's just something I heard. And I just like to imagine a, a whale with like a thin mustache and like rose colored glasses, just a real pervy whale out there. All right. Uh, would you rather fight one horse sized duck or a hundred duck sized horses? Jeez. Maybe a horse sized duck. Okay. Okay. You take the- because they only have legs. They have wings. Well, oh, gotcha. Got, I got I it. Think- okay. I think so. so I think so. so. The thing will be big, but it can't grab me. Smart, smart thinking. I yeah. like that. A lot of people take the little ones. They feel they just kick them, but I think a hundred is too many. I think it's too many. So I like your choice. I like your choice. Jason, thank you for humoring me. More <laughs> importantly, thank you for talking new music. Again, the brand new album from Flat Black, Dark Side of the Brain, out now. We wish you nothing but the best, uh, my friend, and we can't wait to see you around the bend. All right. Thank you, Brock. Thanks for having me on. Listen, rate, share, subscribe. Discover new music now at WJJO.com, in the JJO app, or wherever you get your podcasts. Brock has a new interview every Thursday evening between 6 and 7. Nutty for one JJO. I'm Victoria Cash. Thanks for calling the Lucky Land Hotline. If you feel like you do the same thing every day, press 1. If you're ready to have some serious fun for the chance to redeem some serious prizes, press 2. We heard you loud and clear. So go to LuckyLandSlots.com right now and play over 100 social casino-style games for free. Get lucky today at LuckyLandSlots.com. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void or prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply.